So I'm going to discuss the role of genes in regulating or governing animal behavior. For this purpose, I'm taking the example of nest cleaning in honeybees. We know that honeybees are social insects. In honeybee colony, three different types of members are there. There is a single fertile queen that is always deployed. She possesses two sets of chromosomes. The deployed chromosome number in queen will be 32. The male individuals are known as drones. They are haploid. They develop from unfertilized egg through parthenogenesis. They possess only 16 chromosomes. And uh, the third type of members are workers, which are also deployed, but they are sterile. They are not fertile members in the colony. And the entire work in the colony will be performed by workers. So here in this class, you can see how genes regulate a specific behavior, that is nest cleaning behavior in case of bees. You take a female, which is of hygienic nature. Means she maintains, means she actually gives those individuals or those workers which are hygienic in nature. If she is mated with a male of uh, UR type, then all such workers will be of this genotype, UURR, and they will be of hygienic nature. I mean to say workers will be always of hygienic nature. So before I explain this entire class, let us know that there are supposed two gene loci. And both gene loci are situated on separate chromosome. So we are going to understand actually the independent assortment of genes. That concept you should have. Then only you can understand because uh, there is a gene locus on which U allele is located. This U allele stands for uncapping. U stands for uncapping the cell. We know that in honeybee, uh, you know, comb, there are so many cells. There are specific cells in which eggs are laid and from those eggs larvae will come out larvae will be uh, settled in a specific kind of cells from those larvae you know uh, pupae will come and then pupae will change into individuals so uh, u stands for that kind of allele which is responsible for uncapping of the cell it means the wax which covers the cell that has to be removed and r stands for uh, removal of larva which is dead one so those workers which have this genotype, they are capable to uncap the cell and they are also capable to remove the dead larvae. Okay. And if both alleles are uh, wild type, means U plus and R plus, if these alleles are there, then a male individual with this genotype will be considered as non-hygienic because U plus causes, uh, it actually, it does not enable the worker or you can say the individual who possesses plus for uncapping the cell. And R plus, uh, if allele is there, then uh, the worker will not be able to remove the larva because entire work will be done by workers. So we have to actually consider this genotype and the type of function they perform in case of workers. So there is a queen which is deployed, which is having genotype UURR and this is a hygienic type of queen. Now she is mated with a male which is having genotype U plus R plus that is non-hygienic male. Now in the next generation the uh, individuals deployed individuals will be U U plus whereas uh, so, sorry the other gene locus will have R R plus. So you can say that the uh, females they will have this genotype whether they are queen are workers they will be always non-hygienic okay but they are <coughs> heterozygous now you can simply understand that if a female is of this genotype u u plus and r r plus then she will be laying four different types of egg or unfertilized eggs will be of four different types these unfertilized eggs will be either u r or u r plus are U plus R, are U plus R plus. So accordingly, you can have idea that if these haploid unfertilized eggs develop into male, then four different types of male will be found. And if we cross those males with a specific type of 
queen uh, then uh, what kind of situation will be there that we can understand in the next slide say uh, here in this slide you can understand entire uh, thing that is uh, unfertilized eggs of those four types they will be giving four different types of drones that is u r this will be a kind of drone the other will be u plus uh, r and u r plus and u plus r plus and if you have a female of hygienic type i mean to say queen of hygienic type that is u u and r r let us cross this queen with these four different types of drone if this queen is mated with u r then all the workers will be of u u r r type so such deployed workers <coughs> are deployed individuals who are sterile they will be hygienic in nature they will be able to uncap the cell and also they will have ability to remove the dead larvae from those cells and if this u u r r queen is mated with a male which is having genotype u r plus in such situation you will have workers of genotype u u and r plus r such type of worker will be able to uncap this cell okay workers of this nature will be able to remove the wax or covering on this cell but they will not be able to remove the dead larva so they can uncap cell and if third situation is taken if a male with genotype u plus r is mated with this queen u u r r then you will have workers of genotype u plus u and r r such workers will not be able to uncap the cell but they will be able to remove the larva so if you actually purposely remove the wax or cap from the cell then workers of the genotype will be able to remove the larvae and if this male of genotype u plus r plus mates with this queen u u r r then you will have workers of genotype u plus u and r plus r such type of workers will be non hygienic they will neither be able to uncap the cell nor they could remove the dead larvae from the cell so this is one of the classical experiments which uh, helps us to understand that how independent assortment could be understood in case of honey bees the inheritance pattern of uh, this particular behavioral genes uh, 